In this video, we're going to be going through this problem. Given that z satisfies the modulus of z plus 2 is equal to 8, part A, sketch the locus of z on an Argan diagram. OK, so this is going to be a circle. So first of all, real axis, imaginary axis. So it's going to be a circle centred at minus 2 on the real axis. So I'm going to try and do this of accuracy and we've got a radius of 8 so say that represents 8 mm. here we are ok there's minus 2 right so um, that's going to be then 6 that's going to be at minus 10 ok that point there is going to be 8 that point there is going to be minus 8. OK, so it's going to look something like that. Right, uh, for part B then, find the values of z that satisfy. So 1, both z plus 2 modded is equal to 8 and the real part of z is 0. Now, if I'm saying that the real part of z is 0, then I'm just looking at the imaginary axis. So where does the circle intersect the imaginary axis? That's what I'm being asked for here. OK, so if I'm going to do that, then I need to think about what the equation of that circle is. So in Cartesian form, it would be x plus 2 squared plus y squared is equal to r squared, so 64. Now, if the real part of z is 0, that means that x is 0. So we're looking at 2 squared plus y squared equals 64. So y squared is going to be equal to 60. So y is going to be equal to plus or minus the square root of 60. OK. So 2 root 15. So there is going to be 2 root 15. And this point is going to be minus 2 root 15. OK, and so that, that, that satisfies both the circle equation and that the real part of z is equal to 0. So uh, z equals, uh, and it's going to be 2 root 15i, and z equals minus 2 root 15i. OK, now for part 2, both the modulus of z plus 2 equals 8, so on the circle, and we've got this other circle, mod z equals 8. So this is the circle centred at the origin with radius 8. So I'm just going to get rid of those two points there from my diagram. And I'm going to try and overlay this second circle. So I need to remind myself what point I used. There we are. So something like that. I'm going to hit the board. There we are. OK. You can see why I was using the uh, board compass for this. OK, so we're interested in that point there and that point there. OK, so this second circle that I've drawn will have the equation x squared plus y squared equals 64. The first equation was x plus 2 squared plus y squared equals 64. So if you expand that out, you get x squared plus uh, 4x plus 4 plus y squared equals 64. So if this is your equation number one and that's your equation number two and you want to solve these simultaneously because you want to work out where the two circles intersect, then uh, we can do equation one, take away equation two, x squared take away x squared, gone. We've got the 4x plus 4 on the left-hand side. The y squared take away y squared, gone. 64 take away 64, gone. OK, so take 4 from both sides, divide through by 4. So x is equal to minus 1 is the vertical line. It's going through those two points there. 
So we know that the x coordinate, I mean, my diagram's not perfect, is it? It's meant to be a, it's meant to be a vertical line going through minus one. So even with uh, my board compass, didn't get it perfectly. Okay. So I know the x coordinate of those two points. I just need to find the y coordinate. So I can substitute x equals minus one into this. So minus one squared is of course one. So y squared is equal to 63. So y is equal to plus or minus the square root of 63. So plus or minus root uh, 3 root 7. Okay. So the values of z that satisfy both that circle and that circle are z equals minus 1 plus 3 root 7i and z equals minus 1 take away 3 root 7i. So you must make sure, just as I did there, you put it back into the complex form, okay, as solutions to both of those equations.